Welcome back to Our Open World. Once again, I'm Kyle. I'm Paige. And we're excited that you're here joining us for Mifflin Madness 2020. Before we get started, if you have not seen the first episode, there is a link in the description below. Go watch that first and come back because you need to know that information. But if you did and you want a quick recap, we will let you know that Angela, Creed, Kelly, Michael, Toby, Pam, Dwight, and Kevin all moved on last round. So they are in the Sweet 16 this time. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right, who's our first matchup? Our first matchup is Todd Packer versus Joe Bennett. So this is tough. I think I know who I'm voting for already. I just can't. But the reason I say it's tough is because I don't really like either of them. Oh, I like so. one of them. Okay, well, what's your vote then? I'm voting for Joe Bennett. You're voting for Joe Bennett. And what's your reasoning? Just, just like quick her. and brief. You like Todd her? is horrible. He's a horrible person, yeah. and I don't like him. I agree. I'm going Joe Bennett also. Uh, congratulations to Joe Bennett. She is moving on. Uh, she's just not crude like Todd is, and I, and I like that. Yeah. So. All right. Next round. We have Gabe versus Kathy. Ooh, yeah. That one is interesting. I already know who I'm going to vote for. I think I do too. Yeah, but I, I do want to say, for those of you that don't remember who Kathy is, these are the episodes when they're with Saber and they go to Florida. So Kathy comes in to replace Pam when she's on maternity leave and then ends up going to Florida with them. And she's like one of the worst characters ever. I'm voting Gabe. Also voting Gabe. Way to go, Kathy. Gabe. <laughs> yeah, no. X nay on, on Kathy there, but, but she's Woo, not Gabe. a good character. All right. Next, we have Robert California versus, versus Aaron Hannon, or Kelly Hannon. Mm. Yeah, the interesting thing about this is we don't know a lot about Robert California. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he even changes his name in the show. So yeah. he's so mysterious and intriguing, and I, that's what I like about him. But I'm, I think I'm ready to vote. I don't know about you. Yeah. OK, you, why don't you go first? I'm voting Aaron. What's your reasoning? I don't know, just Robert California. I just don't like him that much. He is kind of an okay boss, but he just, I don't know. I don't like the way that he runs the company and that he can also be kind of, I don't know, um, like snaky kind of, just like goes behind people's backs and like convinces own people out of their own position to give him the, the job. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm agreeing, I'm going with Aaron. But I will say, I do like Robert because of how mysterious he is. He's an intriguing person to study. Also, how could you just not love Aaron? Aaron's yeah, amazing. Aaron's amazing. I love it. Also, I'll play it for you right now. Our favorite Aaron scene ever is her scream when, when the warehouse wins the lottery and Dwight drives the forklift into the wall. Person, so that's not so bad. Negative. 300 boxes for me, zero for you chumps. Deal with it. Nice. Now that you've gotten your fill of Aaron fun, our next couple going head to head is Nellie versus Andy. Mm. This one's actually kind of hard for me. Yeah. Because I dislike them at times for different reasons, and I like them at times for different reasons, and I just, I don't know, they're kind of hard for me to pick. Yeah. It's hard for me too. They're both jerks. But in my opinion, in they both parts, redeem themselves. Though, that's right. In, yeah. in, in parts. Yeah, they start out as jerks, and then they, yeah, they redeem themselves later. I think I'm ready to vote. Okay, you vote for I'm going, I'm going Nelly. <laughs> Dude, I'm so conflicted. I think I'm going to have to vote Andy. Ooh, we have a tie. We do. You know what that means. It's time to consult Jesse Phillips. Yes. We will do that. So since we used Jess's bracket last time, we should use Philip's bracket this time. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Philip has chosen Andy. <gasps> oh. Whoop, Philip. So Andy moves on. Congratulations, right. Andy. Thank you so much, Philip, for filling this out for us and helping us break our ties because we knew we'd have some. All right. Our next head-to-head -head match is Clark versus Charles Minor. Minor? I hardly know her. <laughs> 
Uh, 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 just had to quote Michael there for a minute. This one's a really easy choice for me because I really hate one of these characters with a passion. Yeah. I'm sorry, Idris Elba, but Charles Minor is a horrible character. He's awful. I gotta go Clark. Yeah. Also Clark. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna just throw this out there. I just don't like Idris Elba that much. <gasps> Bless me. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's like fine in the Thor movies, but... Yeah. He's a good Heimdall. All right, our next is David Wallace versus Karen. Mm. Karen Filippelli and David Wallace. Two of the most straightforward characters mm -hmm. in the entire show. I know who I'm going to vote for already. I think I do as well. Okay, I'm going David Wallace because okay. I just, he, he's good at business. He's a nice guy. He tries to make everybody happy. You don't hate him ever. He's my vote. I honestly, I'm going to vote Karen. Really? I like her better than David. Oh, man. All right, so I guess we will consult Jess's bracket now. In the case of David Wallace versus Karen, Jess has chosen David Wallace Ooh, to move forward. Yes, I think that's a good choice because Karen is not a nice person. She can be, but I think she was horrible honestly, for Jim. Honestly, it was... I... Don't really think we have a reason to hate Karen, other than the fact that we all believe that Jim and Pam were together. Karen never, Karen was nice. She gave people a shot. Yeah. She learned that she just had to learn how to fit into Scranton. Really honestly, in my opinion, there's no reason to hate Karen, other than the fact that she and Jim were together when we knew that Pam and Jim should be together. Yeah. Well, I guess for me, I voted David Wallace because I just tend to enjoy the scenes he's in more than Karen. Okay, our next is Jan and Pete. Jan and Pete. What do you think? I feel like this should be an easy decision. Because there's one who's nice and friendly, and there's one who's not. I mean, Jan's nice and friendly, but she's only that way when you give her what she wants. Yeah. So with that, I'm voting Pete. Yeah, I'm going Pete also. Whoop! He got a two vote. So next we have Nate versus D'Angelo. This one is so easy for me. This one is, yes. For the record, Will Ferrell never should have made an appearance in the mm -mm. office. Horrible. Disaster. Yes, and if you've never seen the show and you're somehow watching our video right now, skip them. Yeah. It's it's right after Michael leaves. Skip Spoiler them. Spoiler alert. No, I, everyone knows that he leaves. It's like a thing. <laughs> I guess it's true. <laughs> So if you can't guess, That's we're voting for Nate. Yep, we're going Nate, easily. Also, Nate is like one of the like hidden treasures of the show. He is hilarious. He's like one of my favorite characters. Oh, he's fantastic. Also, did you know that his last name is Nickerson? No. Nate, Nate Nickerson. It's like Ned Nickerson from Nancy Drew. It is a little bit, yeah. All right. So, all right. That was our last matchup. So with that, we have Joe, Gabe, Aaron, Andy, Clark, David, Pete, and Nate all moving on to go head to head with our choices from last video. This video, we tried to keep things condensed a little bit more because Kyle likes to ramble a lot. I also I ramble do. a lot. Yeah. So we tried to make it quick and easy. So, so let's show you our bracket. Is what our brackets look like. It's also on screen for you. Also, a quick reminder, you can download from the link below your own bracket and fill it out either with your answers or ours if you want to follow along. And uh, so far, I'm happy with the choices we have. Yeah, I think, I think it's going very well. Great. Some wild cards that were unexpected, but yeah. it's, it's going great. I love I it. I think people are probably still upset from last round when we knocked Jim out versus Toby. Yeah, there were a few comments on the video last time about that. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it, we had good reasoning behind it, I think. We did. So. We agreed that for the next few videos that we would answer a question that we got from a fan, or we had a longer version of our Get to Know Us video that we pulled some questions out. So since we didn't get any questions at the last video, we'll just go ahead and do one of those questions. So our question is, what is an unpopular opinion that you have? So I'll start because this is really easy for me. I have a lot of unpopular opinions about things. Um, and it's kind of funny, this actually applied recently. Um, I think The Princess Bride is a horrible, awful, terrible movie that is boring and pointless and not funny, and I hate it. And it's kind of funny, we just had a group of friends who had a virtual Princess Bride watch party, and I refused to watch it because I hate it. I just think it's a terrible movie, and I don't understand why people love it so much, so. Yeah, That's weird. my unpopular opinion. You're just, you're weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, my unpopular opinion is a little less intense. I think that... 
Honey Nut Cheerios are not that good. Who doesn't like Honey Nut Cheerios? It's I like mean, I'll eat them if they're what's left or if that's my option, but there's so many other cereals I would prefer. He got really excited because I let him buy Captain Crunch the other day. Yeah. And Crunch attacks me, Captain. That, I don't understand. I don't know. I think Captain <laughs> Crunch is gross. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. <clears throat> Could be, actually. Well, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. Remember to click subscribe and the bell notification because we are going to be doing one final Mifflin Madness video and it is going to be determining the ultimate winner of who the best office character is. It's going to blow your socks off. It is. So make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you agree with our decision and even if you didn't, please click here to subscribe so you never miss an upload and hit that bell notification. Also click my face if you want to watch our next video. Thanks guys.